so this is the raw food person's kitchen. That's the sweet cupboard. All That's right. what goes in the sweet cupboard. And here is the savory cupboard. And that's the sum total of my food. Very good. <laughs> All right. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life. Hello, everybody. It's Paul Meese with the Raw Life Health Show. We are in South Africa having an amazing time looking up all the raw people out here and we found the lady whose name is actually Rawlene. It's actually Rawlene, but she calls herself Rawlene. She has a great, a great company out here that makes a whole bunch of raw food snacks and foods and she has an amazing garden and we were at her house and she has a great story and we're gonna get her on the show right now. So the kitchen here in South Africa. So we have this uh, high blender which is equivalent to the Vitamix here in South Africa. Very nice and uh, they have the Oscar juicer, which is a nice one, and then they're dehydrator. And they're the rest of the dehydrated trays. Wow, so there's a lot of dehydrated trays and uh... And guess what's in my oven, Paul? What's in your oven? Wow, storage. Storage in the oven. Laptops, plugs, Laptops and in cutlery. The oven. Wow, very good. <laughs> very good. That's great. And this is what goes on the stove. On the stove, but not cooking it, just for no. storage. Storage. Wow. Avocados. Sweet potatoes, onions. All right, everybody, here we are with Rolene. Rolene, uh, introduce yourself. You have a wonderful garden at your house, and you have a great thing happening with raw foods here in South uh, Africa. So let everybody know a little about yourself. Well, hi, everybody. It's really wonderful to be here, and it's wonderful to be with you and interviewing you this morning, Paul, for my radio show called The Taxi, online streaming radio. Um, I came to live in Cape Town three and a half years ago. I lived in Botswana for 17 years. Part of my dream was to come and live in the Cape and after having been diagnosed with a very aggressive cancer, I decided that life is all about living your dreams. So I came to Cape Town. Um, I went 90% raw four years ago, lost 39 kilos in weight, uh, took my cholesterol from 8.9 to 5.2 body mass index from morbidly obese to looking good um, and really just changed my entire life. Be be before I went raw, I I I'm an inspirational speaker running workshops for corporates all over South Africa and then I started running raw food workshops because for me it was about sharing my passion and giving people an opportunity to learn what I've learned and be supported on this raw journey. Well, tell everyone what the choices you were presented because you, you, you weren't living a healthy lifestyle and then you found out you had breast cancer. And tell everyone what you were telling me about uh, your situation with the, the, the chemo, the radiation, the raw food and so on. Okay, so the moment I got diagnosed, I absolutely decided that I wasn't gonna go on chemo or radiation, but there was a lot of pressure from my family and I, and I, I did it. So I did the chemotherapy. And from the moment I started the chemo, I went raw. I drank a litre of green juice every single morning. No matter how I felt, no matter if I ate anything else that day, I put that litre of green juice down into my body. Um, I never finished my radiation because my body just literally told me it was enough. And I listened and I... As far as I'm concerned, I'm not in remission. I don't do remission. As far as I'm concerned, I'm absolutely clear. For me, it's not just about the food. It's about doing the emotional work as well because when your cell receptors are completely blocked with emotional baggage, they can't absorb the nutrients from the food either. And yeah, I love my life. I love the fact that I'm alive. I love the fact that I'm well, that I climb the mountains in Cape Town. I love life. Tell everyone about your beautiful garden that you have that we're going to take a look at soon. Oh, thank you. Um, obviously, I want to feed myself. I've always been passionate about gardening. So I built this wonderful garden. I pulled up all these concrete slabs and I put over a hundred bags of organic compost in, watered it for three months, dug up all the weeds, really got it live again, put lots of worms inside and then started planting my organic garden. And I keep taking away my plant garden to plant more food in my little organic garden. I've got three sections which Paul will take you on a visit just now. Well, we're going to take a look at that. Well, we want to thank you. Do you have a website people can contact you if they'd like to? Well, I've got my New Beginnings website is www.newbeginnings.com. 
My Facebook page is Rawlean, which is R-A-W-L-E-A-N, and my website will be up shortly. Before we go and see your garden, any advice you have for people out there that are have just been told they have cancer, what would you tell them? It's really about looking after yourself. I'm not suggesting that you go raw right away, but what I'm suggesting that you do, especially if you're going to be taking chemotherapy, is that you start out every single day with a litre of green juice, which is spinach, celery, cucumber, apples, lemon and ginger. And the other thing that I suggest you do is you take your big meat plate and you take your side plate, which is sometimes your salad plate or your bread plate, and you swap them around. So you take your big plate and you fill that with a beautiful organic salad. And you take your little plate and if you want to eat your meat or your fish or your chicken, you eat it on the little plate. And just by doing that, you're already 60% raw. And that's 100% better than you were before you started. Wonderful. Thank you so much for being a guest here on the show. And uh, we're going to see our vegetable, vegetable garden, so show us. Absolutely. Well, when I moved here three years ago, it was all concrete like this. So I took all the concrete out. And please walk through, Paul. You can walk right through along the pathway. We've wow. got all kinds of squashes over here. We've got beautiful lemongrass over here. We've got some... Um, uh, uh, Golly, name just escaped me for a moment over there. Here's all squashes. Um, squashes, yes. We've got some lovely See spinach. The squashes on the floor there. Yes. Oh, that one's a little off. Shame. It was a beautiful big. Um, um, all these. Th there's some cabbage there. growing right there. Right. There's cabbage over there, and then to the left, those are gooseberries. Gooseberries. This is Cape gooseberry over here, which is beautiful. There aren't any fruit on it at the moment. Wow, and there's uh, some tomatoes. Tomatoes and, and, some, and some rocket. And some rocket. Right, and I've... Peppers, um, we have peppers here. Right. You call them passion fruit oh, in America, don't Granadilla, you? Granadilla, passion Granadillas. fruit. Granadillas. Oh, right. Yes. And these are eggplants over here. And these are some chilies Chili, over here. okay. And then there's granadilla growing along there. We've got spinach, we've got parsley over there. Um, and we've got a beautiful sunflower, which wow. seems to have just fallen down, obviously, <laughs> because it's so heavy. Beautiful little garden. You see, you can make anything with a little space you can make. And here's that same much. bush again, with these same melons, which I'll give you to taste. Wonderful. This is a beautiful plant. It's called a spider lily. Isn't it beautiful? It oh, looks like a spider's web. Very, bird. very beautiful. And they just opened yesterday. Wow. They must have known you were coming. <laughs> Okay. We've got some beautiful <laughs> spinach leaves. Look at the size of my leaves here. I mean, is that a giant wow. of a spinach leaf? I've got some more parsley growing over here. I've got some more tomatoes. Got some mushrooms. I'm not sure if those are mushrooms. poisonous or not. Well, <laughs> or magic. And we have a baby plant over here. Oh, shame. A baby plant. A baby oh, plant from the nursery school. Okay. We've got a bit of basil over here. We've got more spinach over there. Uh, we've got spring onions over here. Um, and I see you have sweeping plant over here. <laughs> yes, sweeping plant. A big over broom, there. broom plant. Here's a little herb garden. So we've got different basils, we've got different mints, we've got um, uh, chilies. This is a beautiful curry plant. Wow. Smell it. It's absolutely delish. Oh wow. Um, thyme, basil, oregano, and this is an amazing plant. I don't know if you know it. This is sorrel. Yes. You know the sorrel leaves and they're wow. absolutely delicious and this is a different a kind of basil. It's very strong. Yes. Smell this one. Wow. Very powerful, yes. isn't it? So that's my so little mint the products garden. They manufacture. We've just launched a range of organic sprouted buckwheat um, with all different flavors. So we've got olive and herb, wasabi, raw hulled, chili and garlic, natural, cinnamon and date, chili. Um, and snack packs as well and it's really really delicious i'm going to give you some to taste at lunchtime today Paul. Right, wonderful yes, thank was, you that was raw lean yay put your, uh, <laughs> your comments questions below the video and uh, get to uh, her website and, and, and check her out amazing lady and uh we're just having a great time in south africa and if you're in cape town or in the area definitely look her up all right this is paul niece with the raw life health show saying have a great day and a great raw life This is the Raw Life Health Show, Raw Life.
Brighten up your life